Raleigh Convention Center for the Major League Gaming uh, Championship event. Basically, Major League Gaming is an organization that runs gaming events competitively presented as sport. Go Hugs! I think it's a $200,000 prize pool. I guess the two huge games in esports right now would be League of Legends, the game I play. And then there's uh, StarCraft. Yeah, that'd be like basketball and, and football. We have people flying in from South Korea, from the UK, from all over Europe. You know, in the room, they'll have those 15,000 people and 750 of them playing and, you know, the cheers and the noise. This is my, uh, my team's logo right here. I used to work for a living, but now, uh, ever since I got sponsored with uh, StarCraft 2, I do gaming for a living. This is a huge game, USA versus Canada. And I'm 25 years old, and like right now, all I'm doing is being a pro gamer full time. On, on average, I'd say I play about six hours a day, like actual train, six hours a day. I, I think competitive gaming can be a, considered a sport because you look at, uh, you look at like Korea, for instance. StarCraft 2 over there is kind of like what the NFL is for USA. So the way it works is they start off in the smaller competition open bracket area we have over there to compete in soundproof booths in front of an audience in, in the room here and millions watching across the world via live streaming. So while everyone's competing out here, we're simultaneously broadcasting the event behind the curtain. So let me take you back there and show you what's going on. Great job, guys, great job. All right, we are in a two-minute commercial. Where we so each game has its own set of commentators that are talking about what's going on within the game, calling out plays, and making sure that the crowd knows what's going on. They're basically analyzing everything that these guys are doing while they're competing. I kind of fell into it. I was actually in line to be a construction company owner um, with my dad, and uh, I just started playing casually, and Tournaments started coming up and I started winning those tournaments with the local team I had and kept going and going and going and then people started wanting to sponsor us and started throwing money at us. What happened? We won. <laughs> Making money off gaming, it's definitely not the average, but if you're in the upper echelons and you have the skill level or the popularity, it's definitely something that you can do. Um, either through streaming, you get through the ad revenue, or if you're just a really good player, you can win a lot of tournaments, get money that way. My team and I, we uh, live in, uh, actually, they, they make me call it the Curse Mansion. It's a, it's a $4.4 million house. We wake up, we eat together, we hang out together, uh, we party together, and uh, we, you know, it's, it's almost like a family. This is the sport for the digital generation, without a doubt. There's uh, competitors from all over the world, there's fans, there's autograph sessions. Essentially, the vibe, the energy, the whole thing that you get out of an event like this is, uh, is, is a sports vibe. It's just that we happen to be playing video games, which um, you know, actually lend themselves really well to it. Mm -hmm.